Hey what's up guys welcome to your 6th Word 2010 tutorial and today I'll be teaching you guys how to insert and edit pictures. So the, there are actually 4 ways to insert a picture into the Word document. The first one is by clicking picture. You can open a picture that is saved within your hard drive. So simply navigate into wherever you save your picture and click the picture you want and click insert. The second way you can open a picture is by using the clipboard that is installed or that is a that is a default within Microsoft Word. Simply select the picture you like, click go, and simply select the picture you want to insert. The third way is just simply by selecting a picture or copying a picture on Google Image or on a website and pasting it on Word. I'm pretty sure all of you guys know how to do that, so I'm not going to waste my time showing you guys how to do that once again. The third one is you can actually insert a screenshot of your of your computer and post it or paste it on Word 2010. And to do that, you actually need an, an external software. I'm pretty sure maybe you don't you could check it out and what you can do is simply by clicking a uh, screenshot click the drop down menu and click screen clipping and simply select the area you would like to copy so here we go so word actually offers a variety of way you can you can edit your picture. The first one is remove background. So what it does is just basically it removes the background. So if you want to remove a background of a picture, simply click remove background. And mark mark areas to keep is when the what which area you would like it not to remove. And mark areas to remove is obviously area you want it to remove. So the areas that are purple is the areas that will be removed in in the picture. So if when you after you're satisfied with with the picture on whether or not you want the background to be removed, you can simply click keep changes and the areas will be removed. You can also edit the picture by brightening it or darkening it under the correction drop down. You can also recolor it into different colors under the color drop down. You can also insert different artistic effects which are really cool. You should check, definitely check them out under the artistic effect drop down. You can also have different picture styles such as uh, a circle or a square under the picture style drop down menu feel free to check them out you can also have different picture borders let's say I want it red you can have different picture effects you can have it to glow have reflection have whatever I personally prefer glow because it's a really cool effect. I think you can also you can also determine where you, where you want to put your picture. In this case, I want to put it on the top right corner. Simply click where you want to put it as. And let's say you have a bunch of text. And as you can see, as I'm typing the text, the text actually avoids the picture. But let's say you want want to be on the picture as an inscription or whatever. Simply click the picture, click wrap text, and simply click behind text. So as you can see, now the text is behind the picture. And if you want to do the same with my screenshot, simply click wrap text drop down menu, click behind text. So now we have two picture overlaying. Let's say 
I want the the picture of the cat's face to be on the picture of my screenshot. What you can do is simply click the picture of the cat, click bring forwards, and it brings it forward. But one um one area to keep in mind is when you select this this picture of cat to be in front of te text so the text will not be on the picture of the cat it will be under it and when you're like all right now i want to put this picture in front of the picture of the cat you can you will realize that whenever you click bring forward it doesn't work the reason is actually because by default word 2010 uh, consider this picture as a text. So since you already clicked behind, uh, in front of text, and th for this picture, and Word consider this as a text, obviously you're not going to bring it forward. The only way to to uh, re correct this is by clicking, uh, selecting this, and change this also change this to uh, be in front of text too. So now you can bring it forward. And align is just basically where you, do you want to align it. Let's say I want to align it in the middle. Rotate is obvious. Which angle you want to rotate by how much. You can even flip the picture. Crop is when you want to cut the picture. Let's say, you know what? I don't want the whole picture. I only want like half of it. You can crop it however you want. Let's say. And when you're happy, simply click enter and it's gonna crop it and let's say you're like you know what I actually want to crop this thing into like a triangle or whatever simply click the drop down menu of crop crop to shape let's say I want to crop it to a triangle uh, damn it crop it to a triangle and here you go it's a triangle and it crops it for you and the height and the width of the picture is simply how, like, the size of the picture. So this is it for this tutorial, and I hope I'll see you next.